I'm David. I'm here with Brad and Nick, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, queuing with uh, Italian rapier fencing today. Um, so first, I'm going to have Brad come on guard, and he's going to show Nick how to do a straight thrust. And to start with, we're going to do all of our queuing statically, and then we're going to move to in-time actions. And so by static queuing, he's going to use his hand and verbal commands to make sure uh, that his student is properly positioned before he begins the action. So when Brad tells his student to come on guard, on guard, he's going to start off by inviting third, and he can use this to check the uh, check the student's position. And when he's ready, he'll begin. And B up. So here he's inviting in third. He makes sure that everything is good, and then he Feet. begins the command. Up. Good. And now. Now he's going to have the student do an engage, a disengagement. And so to start this, he's going to begin by, by engaging the student's weapon. The student will let him keep the engagement. This is really useful to make sure that he can make sure everything is good. So, so the student is just learning these actions for the first time. He can check and make sure everything is right. Notice how he's using his hand to cue the action. He can make this go nice and slow, nice and easy. Or he can speed it up and have the student go a little bit faster. The last one that we can do. Steady. There we go. The student in this case has to wait and make sure that he's listening for the commands from the instructor. Um, so the last one that he can do is he, we're going to we're going to show a glide. And so in, for this one, the instructor Brad is going to put his blade in line, and we'll have Nick engage. Take engage in fourth. And feet. Good. And when he does it this way. He can check Nick's engagement. He can make sure that everything looks good before he starts. Maybe if he doesn't like it, uh, he might make some corrections to the engagement uh, before he lets Nick start the action. Good. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go back and we're going to do all those things uh, in time. So what we mean by in time is that the the actions are done in the in the tempo of the instructor's movement. Uh, and for this, the instructor doesn't need to use his offhand. He's going to switch from uh, vocal and hand uh, movements to cue an action to uh, purely visual movements or uh, contact movements with his blade. Uh, so now we are going to start off with the same straight thrust, uh, but this time the student, the instructor is going to start with an engagement, and when he shifts his, the position of his weapon, that's what cues the action to go. Now if we want to do a disengagement, Brad's going to start off by inviting in third, and as he attempts to engage the weapon, Nick is going to make a disengagement in time and attack. Good. And then for the last one, uh, when, when uh, Brad extends his arm, Nick will immediately engage and go to start the block.